uh, let us take a look at the Intel's newer Core i7-6700 and compare with the older Haswell i7-4770 K. The K suffix it denotes that it is an overclockable part. Mm, some of the similarity between two processors both have the 8 MB uh, cache memory both are quad core processors and both have support for the hyper thread so that takes out any difference between because of these variations that leads us to the clock frequency which is uh, marginally higher in favor of as well as 3.4 gigahertz versus 3.5 gigahertz and 4 gigahertz uh, versus 3.9 gigahertz in turbo clock frequency. So, it is about the same uh, in, in one of them it is higher another is lower, but the, the, the Haswell is also overclockable and it can potentially go uh, substantially higher than 3.9 if you do want to. So, uh, Skylake however, has a slightly improved architecture that gives that will give you a, like a, a 1.5 percent to 2 percent better performance. So, in between these two we should expect a similar performance between these two processors and to confirm it we are going to take a look at their benchmark scores which is 10182 for 4 i7 4770 K and 10040 uh, about the same as the 4770 K. The Haswell is slightly faster uh, I think primarily because it is overclockable and uh, some of the users who have uploaded this data had did actually overclocked it to make it faster. Some of the other differences is the support for DDR4 in the Skylab that has about the same performance as DDR3, but it works at lower core voltage at 1.2 volt and that makes it uh, more power efficient which is not uh, really a primary main concern for the desktop users. We have a newer and slightly improved HD graphics 4 530. Uh, compared to the HD graphics 4600 in the Haswell. I hope it helps you. Thanks for taking a look.